UFC 203 Miasek vs. Overeem is the UFC first ever card in Cleveland, and they have a Cleveland native in the main event. Heavyweight champion Stipe Miasek will defend the belt against Alistair Overeem, who has won titles in K1, Strike Force, and Dream, but never in the UFC. The co-main event also comes from the heavyweight division as former champion Fabricio Verdum faces Travis Brown, who replaces the injured Ben Rothwell. For the heavyweight championship bout, Miozek, who's 15 2, knocked out Verdum in Maine, Brazil, to take the belt, using a slick boxing counter to do so. Overeem, who's 41, 14, and won a contest, has now won three in a row after scoring a TKO win over Andrei Avlovsky in May in the Netherlands. And this is going to be a striking exhibition. Miozek is a former Golden Gloves boxer and he can wrestle, while Overeem is a kickboxing specialist. It would be a huge surprise if this went to the mat, and even though Overeem has 19 submission wins, the last game in 2009. Overeem's chin has been questioned in the past, and he gets down when he's not winning. That might hurt him in Miozic's hometown. Our pick for this fight is Miozic. For the heavyweight bat of the night, Verdum, who's 20, 6, 1, was not patient enough against Miozic as he went for knockout, but he is known more for being a world-class grappler. He beat Brown, who's 18, 4, 1 in April 2014 in a title eliminator, and Brown is 2-3 in his last five, including a TKO loss to Cain Velasquez at UFC 200. Brown will want to stay standing, but if it goes to the ground, it's all over as Verdun might be the best heavyweight jiu-jitsu artist on the planet. Our pick for this fight is Verdun. For the welterweight bat of the night, Punk, who's nil nil, whose real name is Phil Brooks, is known for his career in professional wrestling, so no one really knows what his style is going to be at the UFC. Gaul, who's 2-0, won both of his amateur events, then took his first two pro fights via first round submission, including against Mike Jackson in his UFC debut in February. This looks like it will be a grappling match, and the edge goes to Gaul, simply because Punk does not have any experience. Our pick for this fight is Gaul. For the bantamweight bat of the night, Faber, who's 33-9, lost his rubber match with Dominic Cruz in June, and Faber looks like he's good enough to beat anyone else at 135 pounds, just not Cruz and maybe Renan Barral, who has beaten Faber twice. Riviera, who's 19-1, is 3-0 in the UFC, and he is well-rounded going to the biggest fight of his life. He is not in the top 10, but he will be with a win, and after 42 fights, Faber has to slow down soon. This could be the best fight of the night. Our pick for this fight is Riviera. For the women's strawweight bat of the night, Andrade, who's 14-5, knocked out Jessica Pena in her strawweight debut in June, while Calderwood, who's 11-1, scored a TKO win over Valerie Latourneau, also in June. This figures to be a striking contest, but both fighters are all action types. But Andrade has the grappling edge over Calderwood, a Muay Thai champion. Our pick for this fight is Andrade. Click over right now and check out all the odds on the board and make a few wagers on BetDSI.com.